Stop right there. Put your hands up and don't try anything stupid. What? Why? You're under arrest for the murder of Johannes Vanderberg. All right. Um, so uh, welcome back, guys, to the Sinking City. So as I said at the end of the last episode, I would, uh, was going to try to pick it back up from the police station. But as soon as I left the theater, yeah, this happened. Now we are being framed f for the murder. I didn't kill him. We have clear evidence against you and an eyewitness report. Take him in. Okay. So that wasn't um, quite the start of the episode that I thought we were going to have. But alrighty then. Now we have been arrested. Murder accusation. Oakman Police Department. Um. Rise and shine, Detective Reed. Hope you've enjoyed your stay. Now, weren't you the man giving orders back at the Carpenter Manor? <laughs> to what do I owe the pleasure? You have an excellent memory, Reed. The name's Frank. Regardless, I'm here for you. Mr. Carpenter has put up your bail. Why would he do that? And which Mr. Carpenter? The double or the real one? Hmm. That's generous of Mr. Carpenter, but tell me, how did he know I was here? The Carpenter family has a long and proud history of supporting the Oakmont Police Department. Let's just say they keep us in the loop. I must confess I'm uh, pleasantly surprised. That seems helping Mr. Carpenter was a good choice after all. Well, you helped Mr. Carpenter, and now he returned the favor. The Carpenter family always pays its debts. Okay. Yeah, why are we accused? I didn't kill anyone. Do you have any idea what's going on? Of course you didn't do it, Mr. Reed. The witness must be mistaken. No, seriously. I'm innocent. Okay, sir. Mr. Carpenter wishes to see you. I suggest you take up the matter with him yourself. Fine. Thank you. Okay, the plot thickens. Key evidence collected. So, can we have all our... Uh, we got all our stuff back. Cool. Maybe don't pull out a weapon in the police station when we have just been accused of murder. Well, but since we're here... The late J. Vanderberg came to the crown scene, uh, couldn't find, uh, often found his dead body. Mr. Carpenter wants to meet in his manor, he bailed me out, and he could tell me more about the witness that accused me of murder, murder accusation. Uh, the killer used a gun identical to mine and was wearing a hat similar to my own. I must learn who framed me or why, and why. To expose the truth, otherwise the police will lock me up. So, we go violent crimes. Witnesses. Instrument of crime. No? Hmm. Alright, so it's not in the evidence. So none of those. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So maybe I was wrong that we needed to identify him, and maybe we just need to go talk to. Oh, what's this? Um. Just go talk to. <coughs> The old guy and he can fill us in okay to whom it may concern it's a conspiracy brewing in the city it's the fishman 
I know you couldn't confirm my previous reports, by this, uh, but this time it's different. They're taking over. Their rancid underwater gold has been surfacing around the city. Soon they'll have enough to buy out everybody. Your institution must investigate this. I took the ini uh, initiative to perform a preliminary in investigation. Yes, I know I don't have a license. Which is exactly why I need somebody who does. I'm sending you the first batch of my notes. More notes will follow as I carry on with my research. The conspiracy is real. The fishman. The fishman. Regards, Sims. Whoa. That was a lot of stuff. Okay. I'm guessing that's a full on. Uh Self-defense. Let's see. All that glitters. Wow. That's a lot of places to go explore. Okay. The plot thickens. So let's go talk to Mr. Carpenter then. I don't have any proof of my innocence. I need to find evidence that someone else is responsible. Okay. Can't combine those two. Alright, so I guess we can remove this again, and see, the Carpenter Manor. Crown Theatre, hmm, that's the University. City Hall, Carpenter Manor, there we go, an old group. Alright. both love and hate when games do what this game uh, just did like as soon as you leave a building throw something at you um, because it usually takes you by the wrong kind of surprise I feel I feel like it's better if they were like waiting in ambush somewhere else but I do see how compared to what was going on in the story that it would make sense for them to just be out there they got a call that something was up but I don't think it's right to arrest someone just because they carry a similar gun and okay things have definitely changed here uh, just because they're wearing a similar hat and has a similar gun like we saw in the premonition that the guy had like a full beard Okay, private property, hobos, beggars, and squatters will be shot. Okay, so he is not in the good mood he was earlier. Don't you have work to do? We got work to do. Chill. A little blackmail, a little larceny, a worthwhile scrap or two. Just like the old days. Okay, so I guess he didn't change his ways. I'd have broken all your bones, fella. Chill, dude. Okay. Mr. Carpenter, sir. You in here? Hmm. No, but it does seem like you found religion. Alright. Maybe on the other side? Yeah, there we go. And you are... Mr. Carpenter. Glad to see you in good health. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad too, kid. It was hard to make it here in one piece after all that turmoil. I never expected this from my own son. I'm sorry for that. Eh, ah, never mind. Nothing wine, women, and song can't fix. I'm still going strong, kid, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I think you know... Uh, we know what you mean. I wanted to thank you for bailing me out of jail. That was very helpful. Yeah, sure, kid. But you must understand that your freedom ain't yet insured. They still have a witness against you. Milton Pierce. I can make sure the police swallow whatever I feed them. 
but I need some morsels to offer. You get me, kid? You need evidence of my innocence. Find the one to blame and let my taskmaster know. Old Brutus will do the rest. Yeah, okay. What happened to your I son? I see Graham here. What happened to him? I had to ensure my own survival, kid. I don't think you want to know more than that. Probably brutal. Okay. Who is this Milton Pierce? Ah, another rich rascal running for mayor. Nothing special. Just your typical Reed Heights scum. Do you know where I can find him? No idea, kid. From what I've seen in newspaper interviews, he's all over this town. Thank you. I should go. Wait a second, kid. Take this. It's a fine tool for sticky situations. Make good use of it. Will do. Thanks. Yeah. Watch yourself, kid. Submachine gun. Cool. Okay. That's gonna run out of bullets fast, I guess. Don't you have work to do? Yeah, we do. Chill. Okay. Um, finding a witness. Couldn't learn much about Milton Pierce. All I know that he lives somewhere in Reed Height and is currently running for mayor. He, yeah. So we're going to the newspapers to check out their... Uh, <clears throat> The articles. There we go. How close are we to this thing? Hmm. Yeah, I think we might actually go for the fast travel, even though it's not that far. I think this will still be faster. I haven't checked in on our uh, skills for a while, actually. Two knowledge points. Submachine gun accuracy. And even more accuracy. I don't know why would we want a wider spread on the shotgun. Don't we want like as many pellets as possible to hit the target? Hmm. Damage increased 20%. That's quite a lot. Because that thing takes out some of the monsters in one hit. But let's see. Hmm. Carry three more rifle rounds. More shotgun rounds. This is tricky. I think we actually want to do this for now. Because both of those are pretty damn helpful. Okay. So, to the newspaper. Didn't mean to bump into you there. Rex. Okay, cool. So we can make another fire bomb, right? Yep. We're definitely taking that then. So much more gunpowder. <clears throat> uh, we're not gonna find it here. Uh, your newspapers in your face, mate. Stay safe. Okay, you don't want a follow-up interview. That's fine. All right. After the flood, people. Uh, I'm guessing officials. 
articles and interviews. And we need this thing. There we go. Today our correspondent had a chance to roam uh, the beautiful alleyways of Eastern Reed Heights. All for the sake of interviewing one of the most promising political figures in Oakmont. Pierce's property, an apartment building tucked away on Museum Avenue between Communion Road and Hillock Street, is definitely a grand sight, but Mr. Pierce takes pains to assure <clears throat> to assure us he is in touch with the needs of the humble man, meeting regularly with community leaders. Cool. So map. Place a marker. Reed Heights. Eastern Reed Heights. We haven't been out here yet. So we're looking for Museum Ave between Communion Road and Hilux Street. Well that's Hilux Street. That's Communion Road. Museum Museum Ave. So somewhere here. Beautiful. Let's see how close we can get by fast travel then. Because that is a ways off. A fair distance actually. Let's go. How close can we get? Not close at all. We can go over to Bourbon Road, and then sail across. I think that's the. Yeah, that's gotta be the nearest. Closest way to water. Yep, that would be this way. I should also uncheck um, the marker we put on the chronicle. Just so it doesn't confuse or anything else like that. We're going... let's see... Going this way? Yeah. I think we are. Yeah, I think we are. Whoops. Cool statue though. Uh, can we keep going straight? Can we keep going straight? Not by a long shot. That mistake again. How about the next road? This looks somewhat accessible if I can find a place to dock this thing. Am I not allowed to dock here? Well. That's massively annoying. <coughs> okay, we'll follow 
this, take the first possible left and see where we can duck. Oh yes, finally. Cool. Okay. here and to the right then it's just a matter of finding the right building nope the one with the huge American flags still no nope. hmm Why are you guys fighting? Why are you fighting over a piece of rotten fruit? Weirdos. There's plenty of fish to get for free. Hmm. On Museum F between... Keylock Street and Communion Road. Let me something totally obvious. Is this a back alley thing? Casings, always nice. Hmm. Nope. Maybe up here. Okay, here we go, I think. Yeah. This guy sure had some blood on his hands. Literally. Must be taking his election campaign very seriously. Okay, very um, religious. Or maybe just righteous. Yeah, he's posing like uh, Caesar, right? So maybe nothing to do with religion. Okay, Milton, my earnest friend. It's been a while since we last met. Uh, and I wish to remind you that my door is always open for you to pay me a visit. How about you finally hold a seance that we've been talking about for so long? I expect uh, to see you at the Crown Theatre soon. Warmly yours, Johannes. Okay. Is he... Planning to become the Prince of Oakmont, or is this just some light reading? Doesn't look that light. Okay. My fellow Oakmonters. From this day forward, a new vision will guide our city. From this day forward, it will be Oakmont first. Every decision made on trade, on fishery, on newcomers and insmothers will be made to benefit the people of Oakmont. We must protect the boundaries of our city from both outsiders and the forces of nature. Let's make Oakman great again. That sounds uh, familiar. Emptier than a banker's heart. Yeah, it looks like someone... Did someone pack in a hurry? Someone got changed here mm. in a hurry. Got changed here real hurry. Yeah, okay. Oh, we've seen these knives before. The shape is familiar. I've seen similar daggers before. Yeah, that was back in our in the first case, the very first case we got. Okay. 
Letter from EOD. Mr. Pierce, on behalf of our community, I want to express a huge gratitude for everything you do for us. Very few of the stakeholders here show compassion to the Innsmouth's descendants. And you are a rare exception. Please accept this dagger as a sign of our friendship and proof that while we maintain this connection, no one from our side will dare to harm you. Yours, Anna Cavendish. So Anna is still on the move. Okay, letter from Throckmorton. Dear Mr. Pierce, despite all the differences we might have had in the past, I can't but admit that today uh, I see you as one of the most promising candidates for mayor. Oakman needs a strong hand, which you surely can provide. Don't expect any financial support from my side. I believe one running for mayor should possess the requisite financial means. But otherwise, you'll have my full assistance. Respectfully, Robert Throckmorton. So everyone is weighing in on this guy. Everyone knows him. Everyone wants to talk to him. And seems like everyone is, is actually his oh, blood on the floor. Um, sort of friendly with him. They definitely kept some dirty clothes here. You can see the blood splatter. Oh, that opens up. Yeah, cool. The, the blood was spurting out of him, Robert. Just spurting out. Oh, it's all over me. Okay. So, so far, he came back, drenched in blood. Clearly, Shook needed a drink. That would make sense, right? Ah! Where's my Dane tie? I should have been at City Hall by now. Voters won't meet and greet themselves. Then he got changed. Get these out of my sight, Robert. Isn't that why we have a laundry room downstairs? Time to figure this out. The, the blood was spurting out of him, Robert. Just spurting out. Ah, where's... Get these out of my sight, Robert. Ugh, Isn't fuck. that why Jesus, we have sorry. a laundry room downstairs? Milton Pierce came home covered in blood. He ordered his butler to take his clothes downstairs and went to meet voters at City Hall. Okay. What? We can't get downstairs? No. Hmm. Okay, so he's at City Hall. Not going upstairs either? No? Oh, there is another way downstairs though. Something's gonna jump out of this, right? I'd be damn surprised if it didn't. Based on past experience, leaving it here was not the best idea. The smell of blood can attract all sorts of unwanted visitors. Exactly. Running around the basement looking for bloody clothes, and we know that attracts all sorts of wild beasts. Okay, so let's see what we do for inventory here. Uses 45 ABP rounds, so. Should hit, well, at least as hard as the revolver, right? Okay. What are we gonna do here? We're gonna go for an ex extra shell. Nothing else we can do at the moment? No. Okay. Key evidence collected. So there's still more. Somewhere.
Hmm. Can we go down any further? No, we can't. Okay. We picked up everything here. What? Yeah, okay, we can't carry any more of the springs. Can't get upstairs. There's gotta be something I missed, right? There has to be. Otherwise it would say all evident. Ah, there we go. One of peers may not be the fully fledged member of the Oakman legislature. Legislator. Leg legislature? Oh. He has already proven his fitness for the role during this election campaign, not only in words but also in deed. First, Mr. Pierce has prepared and put into operation a new water supply project for Oakmond. He is also actively engaged in greening of the city, planting trees in, urban, in suburban areas and proposing new park spaces for recreation and community events. Second, his campaign promises seem to have struck uh, a court with the public. Most notably, Pierce has an advocate for the construction of a wall around Oakmont to prevent the influx of newcomers. <laughs> it is just a hyperbole, or could Pierce really do it? We will find out if or when he wins the election. Yeah, this uh, all smells um, not to go political, but it sounds like some of the stuff that Donald Trump has said during his presidency in the US. Okay. Remove this. Blood splatter. No? Bloodied clothes. The bloody clothes in Pierce's house can be used as evidence against him. Still, I need something more to accuse him. Okay, so he's at City Hall. How far are we from City Hall? Pretty damn close, actually. Oh, I guess this doesn't really matter. Oh, there it was. Okay. Yeah, of course. So that's not right. And I'm thinking that after this case it might be time to do some side mission stuff, just so we don't uh, get completely lost in the main story and all of a sudden it ends. And I don't know if we get the opportunity to do all of the side quests afterwards, but why would we if the main story is done? Okay, so turn over here. Take a left. That's just a crate in the open. Whoops. No. There we go. Oh, he's just drunk. Leaving it off in the middle of the street. Sure, why not? Okay. Let's see if he has something to say for himself. Where would he be? None of those can be opened. Tell me where is? Is that him? Oh yeah, that's definitely him. We need to talk. Day, Mr. Pierce. Bet 
she didn't expect to see me. How are you here? You should be in jail. I have good friends who bailed me out. I just want to talk. Well, okay. If you wish. You saw the real killer. Tell me who it was. Want to know what I saw? I saw a bloody newcomer rush in, murder Johannes, and stroll out like it was no big deal. Yeah, how do you know You're that? certain it was a newcomer. How can you be so sure? Trust me. Oak Moners know a newcomer when they see one. We locals can tell. Why did you claim I did it? Excuse me? Why wouldn't I? A friend of mine was killed. Why should I let that go? Yeah, because we didn't do it. You know I didn't do it. Quite the opposite, Reed. I saw your face. Or are you going to claim it wasn't yours? Yeah. You seem like a rational man, Pierce. Can't we come to an arrangement? Are you attempting to bribe a politician, Mr. Reed? What makes you think I'd accept such an offer? Well. I'm sorry. <laughs> I must be thinking of a different Milton Pierce. But let me tell you, my beloved mother is so old and so rich. I'll miss her dearly when she's gone. Well, that's a non sequitur. Mr. Reed, <laughs> how do I put this? I find my campaign hamstrung by a distinct lack of resources. Ah, so it's about the money after all. I fear that all the budget pressures are affecting my cognition. If the situation were improved, perhaps I'd see things more clearly. For instance, I might suddenly realize I'd mistaken you for someone else. You could even remind me of whom. Yeah, what about we just... Can we threaten him? I could just kill you, you know. Great idea kill the only witness while being investigated for murder. I'm sure the police will understand. That's reasonable. But you're assuming, after all I've seen and done in this damn place, I still listen to reason. Threatening a mayoral candidate. You truly are a newcomer. Okay, that didn't get us, get us anywhere. Well, we have to get out of this murder charge. If that's what it'll take. I guess I have no choice. Just make sure it looks natural and clean. You know the carpets there cost a fortune. Actually, take this. Comes well recommended from Professor Cavendish. Put it in a drink or something. This isn't my first case, Pierce. Forgive me. I should have known you were a bit of a lady killer. Anything else? My dearest mother, Agatha, is currently at her manor. Here's the address. And Reed, don't come back here after. People shouldn't see me with you. Okay. So, let's take a quick look at the Mind Palace. Killer was blackmailed. Milton Pierce the sellout. Suspect newcomers. Okay, looking for a newcomer. If Milton Pierce is correct, the man that shot Vanderberg is a newcomer. I learned that he married recently and was forced to commit the crime out of fear for his family. There could be a marriage license somewhere that might help me find him. Okay, so I'm guessing that would actually be right here as well, but that's gonna have to wait until next time guys um, Time is sort of getting away from me here But thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed If you did and haven't already uh, Why not subscribe and that way you will get notified for the rest of the series as well and everything else I put up who knows maybe you might like it but yeah, that's going to be all for now. Until the next one, take care. Bye.